President Biden reacting to the October jobs report, showing the U.S. economy added more than 500,000 jobs, which was more than economists expected. The positive news about the economy happening as lawmakers in D.C. gear up for a high-stakes vote on Capitol Hill on a massive domestic policy package, as well as a bipartisan infrastructure bill. Madeline Rivera has the latest from Washington. There's optimism among House Democrats as they inch closer to voting on the bipartisan infrastructure bill and their social spending and climate plan. After months of stalled negotiations, they worked frantically this week to squeeze in key provisions in the latter package, like paid family leave and a compromise on a state and local tax deduction cap. Today is going to be a bright day in America. Rushing to pass the bill still violates conditions from moderates to evaluate its cost before pushing it through. If the House advances the legislation, it will likely face resistance and revisions in the Senate as tensions come to a head. Climate protesters seen here confronting Senator Joe Manchin, who opposes several of the clean energy policies in the House bill. You can't look like you're in disarray, and that's that's how this looks. Regardless, the White House will likely see the passage as a victory as the president struggles with sagging poll numbers. He's touting the recent jobs report, too. 531,000 jobs added last month, a rebound from disappointing numbers in August and September. The unemployment rate down to 4.6 percent. This is a significant improvement from when I took office and a sign that we're on the right track. The labor force participation rate, which reflects the share of adults with jobs or looking for work, has stood steady for two months in a row at 61.6 percent, suggesting the job market still has a way to go before it's fully recovered. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.